So there's the ABS unit right there. Uh, you can see the hydraulic lines coming into it and then the electronics in the black. So uh, the aluminum here is uh, the block where all of the hydraulics come into and then this is the electronics over here. So the electronics here you can see uh, there's a heat shield right here right and then if you look closely you can see there's the manifold right those rusted looking pipes right down there so and in fact uh, there's one of the oxygen sensors so there's a lot of heat pouring off of the uh, exhaust manifold right you're, you're causing an explosion it's fire inside of the engine and that f exhaust gas is going uh, right out that exhaust manifold so uh, you can see all that heat's pouring in and you know heat rises look how that shield is built so uh, with that heat shield being the way it is uh, you get a lot of heat that goes on to uh, that circuit board there now it's pretty well insulated inside I guess um, you know and they work for a, a good long time but uh, over the years uh, the engine's been sitting not running for over a day now uh, I am in Hawaii so it's not like it got really cold but if I was in a colder climate, then maybe there'd be an issue with it being, you know, closer to a freezing temperature. And then you start it up, and in 30 minutes, this entire engine compartment uh, heats up uh, above 100 degrees Fahrenheit or more uh, in the cold weather. So you're getting a lot of expansion and contraction, expansion and contraction of that electronic circuit board over the years, and the, uh, the solder beads... Uh, because of all of that flexing break and so uh, pretty difficult repair if you're gonna go do it yourself it's not one that I would tackle myself I understand there's a, uh, a fella that uh, will do it for you on eBay um, I guess you take that off and send it to him uh, this uh, this black piece you take it off uh, it unplugs here you take it off uh, send it to him and uh, for a hundred bucks he'll send you the unit back you can't buy a brand new one uh, it's electronically programmed to the computer so if you buy a brand new one the computer doesn't recognize it so it won't work uh, and then that's not an easy hack uh, you wind up having to go to the dealer to get that fixed so taking apart that uh, module is something that some people do uh, if you're good enough with uh, solder and uh, going through the circuit boards figuring out which beads have broken loose from uh, their their spots on the board I guess that's something you can go do I think that's a little bit more prevalent and easier to do in some vehicles than others uh, in this particular vehicle uh, the connections for the actual circuit board are very thin gold wire that's in a, a dielectric goop that's uh, pretty difficult to remove without breaking the thin wire so Again, not something that I personally want to tackle, especially if uh, I can find this guy who supposedly uh, does these jobs for a hundred bucks. Now, uh, that said, you can buy a new one, and depending on where you get them, they're upwards of five or six hundred dollars. You're just going to have to get it down to the dealership and have the dealership code it to your vehicle, which again, cost prohibitive if you ask me. Uh, I certainly like a hundred dollars a heck of a lot better than I do six hundred plus whatever the dealership is going to charge you. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Really like to see your feedback. Uh, subscribe if you want to see the videos as they come out. Have a good day.